What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video and today we're continuing to talk Madam Web, a movie that was such a monumental disaster of epic proportion because let's be real here, they didn't it was a disaster from the beginning. You are working off a premise of an entire Spider-Man universe that doesn't even have a Spider-Man actually living within it and you you have all these different variations of spider people but not a single spider man you're targeting a spider man demographic but you're giving them all the more female characters you know maybe some popular spider women and spider girls but not spider man themselves on top of that you're focusing in on madam webb who let's be real here She's a extremely overpowered character, but in the comics, she was always a very old woman who was blind and paraplegic. But in this, yes, she might get blind and paraplegic towards the end of the movie, but she was John, Dakota Johnson through the entire movie. And it just, it was never going to be a good thing. You had Dakota Johnson just being an everyday human. And then you watch as she ends up becoming blind and paraplegic even though the movie didn't really make much sense and weird things happened it, it was not a good situation you even had dakota johnson sydney sweeney all these actresses kind of come out here and saying that yeah they didn't like the movie they didn't like the movie they didn't like the movie without overtly saying it but you can kind of tell within their actual like mannerisms and stuff and it also shows that the overall audience doesn't actually care about this movie either as it's right now it's sitting at a 51 million dollar box office hall worldwide but when you actually break down the, the numbers a little bit further, domestic box office is only sitting at $26 million after a six day opening weekend. In my past video, I thought I, I actually did my math wrong. I completely forgot that President's Day was on Monday. So they had the Monday box office included into all this to make their six day opening weekend a massive opening weekend for them, and they could only pull in $26 million domestically. Nobody was really going to this movie. Nobody's really talking about it besides the people pointing out how big of a disaster it was. And it's such a big disaster that you actually come over here to that park place where they're having a new report come out that shows that uh, because this was such a massive disaster, it potentially destroyed countless spinoffs, a countless universe built around Madam Web, and uh, you can't even blame men for not going to see the movie because women were the didn't even go see this movie. Report! Madam Web's opening weekend box office bomb killed multiple planned spinoff franchises. Women only made up 46% of moviegoers. That's right. A film that, for the most part, I know the director and a lot of the people were trying to market this as a, like, hey, here's a, here's a superhero movie for the women. Women didn't even go to it. Women didn't even engage with it. And it's it, it, it's not really surprising because it didn't even look that interesting to begin with. It kind of looked kind of stupid. But more men went to go see this because, let's be real fair here, Dakota Johnson isn't, you know, uh, isn't hard on the eyes. And also you had Sydney Sweeney. And even though you kind of uglified Sydney Sweeney, you still can't really uglify Sydney Sweeney because she's Sydney Sweeney. There, there's two mega reasons to go love Sydney Sweeney, if you know what I'm talking about. But let's get into this. A new report claims that the opening weekend box office bomb for S.J. Clarkson, Madam Web film, killed Sony's, Sony's plan for multiple spinoff franchises. The film only grossed $15.3 in its opening domestic weekend. It has earned a total of $26 million domestically and another $25.7 million internationally for a global gross of $51.7 million and might not even top $100 million based on its current legs. And that's true. This movie does need to make about $300 million to possibly break even. Uh, possibly it could need to make just a little bit less than that, but it doesn't even look like it's going to crack a hundred million dollars at its current rate. Now, a lot of that you can't actually tell until at least the second week because, you know, for opening weekend, we'll see how that drop off is. I'm going to bet that drop off actually looks really well, but that's solely because so little people actually went to go see the movie to begin with. Word of mouth on the film was so bad, an anonymous theater executive told The Hollywood Reporter on Wednesday night, you could actually watch advanced purchases, purchase sales decline in real time as buyers were refunding their tickets. The executive added, it really says something when you'd rather ha have Shazam 2 numbers. That's telling you something. Shazam 2 was a, a drastic and 
cataclysmic failure at the box office itself. And when they're coming out here saying, hey, we, we would rather have those numbers right now than actually continue watching this, that really tells you how bad it was and how desperate they were to have this movie actually succeed. The Hollywood Reporter, Pamal McLaughlin, I probably butchered that, Clint talk, yeah, I butchered that outright. And James Hibbard also shared that the film's a box office disaster scrapped plans that Sony had to, to franchise Madam Web with potential sequels and spinoffs. Honestly, let's be real fair here. Not a horrible idea to have Madam Web be more of a like uh, uh, a, a Nick Fury for this Spider-Man universe. Not a horrible idea, just the execution was horrible. Having a Madam Web uh, movie in a Spider-Man universe with no Spider-Man really doesn't make sense. Having Madam Web, it, it, any of these movies don't make sense if considering they don't have a Spider-Man. They don't have any real connection to the MCU universe and you're dealing with Spider-Man characters with no Spider-Man. You know, you need your Spider-Man for this whole universe to actually work, but hey, uh, I guess they were going to build up their Spider-Man Avengers. This with no Spider-Man. <clears throat> the duo wrote the feature collapse doesn't just impact the, this film, but new potential franchises led by star Dakota Johnson that Sony had hoped to spin out. I don't know why you would ever think that would be a smart idea. I mean, make her like Nick Fury. Yeah, but have her be the center of the series was going to be a stupid idea uh, no matter what. That That sounds horrific on monumental uh, proportions on top of killing a possible Madam web franchise it also scrapped plans for spin-offs featuring sydney sweeney's julia cornwell celesta o'connor's race swapped maddie franklin and isabel mercedes uh, i'm gonna butcher this one anya I'm not even going to try that last name. One Hollywood venture told the outlet, we're not going to see another Madam Web movie for another decade plus. I don't really think we ever need to see another Madam Web movie. Madam Web does have an origin within the comics. What her origin is, is she, uh, I believe she got sick. She became more paralyzed and everything like that. So her husband makes her a, a, a uh, living device. So one of those living apparatuses, I can't think of the actual name, but a way for her to survive, but she's bound to a wheelchair. She's blind, she can't see, but she can see the future. And she has some unique abilities to kind of mold the multiverse around herself and everything like that. For the most part, she is more of a side character. She's a pivotal side character and has a bunch of like really good abilities and really useful tactics and stuff. But other than, you know, actually being able to make a team, there's no real purpose for her to have a movie centered around herself. It doesn't really make a sense. So I don't think we're ever going to see another Madden Web movie. The veteran added, it failed. Sony tried to make a movie that was different type of superhero movie. Yeah, no, you continued making another Sony Spider-Man movie that wasn't centered around Spider-Man and also failed miserably because you guys didn't know what to, canon you wanted to put it in. Some of you guys wanted to put it in the Tom Holland canon. Some of you guys actually wanted to go put it in the Andrew Garfield canon, but none of that actually worked. And when you actually look at the writers themselves, one of the reasons to actually say they wanted to put it in two, uh, the 2003 timeline is uh and I, and I quote this guy because of the song toxic by britney spears i'm not kidding you that that is an actual justification for putting it in 2003 not only did the film's box office failure kill Sony's plans for multiple franchises, but The Hollywood Reporter claims the company's gambit at trying to appeal solely to females also failed. Another anonymous Hollywood veteran said, I don't know if women are enough to carry the box office here. In fact, the report claims that females only made 46% of the moviegoer audience for Madam Web because, and I, this is actually another realization, there was women aren't actually really interested in these movies. Women aren't going to go chip out a bunch of money to go see a woman led uh, superhero hero film. That's usually the guys superheroes is predominantly a male genre. Again, that does not, I, I have to say this every time I do mention this, but that doesn't mean that you, there aren't female uh, fans of superheroes. That doesn't mean there aren't females that care about the MCU Marvel or any or DCEU or DCU or any of that stuff that I'm not saying that there's no female fans. What I am saying is it is a predominantly male space. This was always a predominantly male space. So when you start targeting the female audience, besides the male audience, you're going to see your numbers dip. You're going to see that the female audience really doesn't want to come out to these things. 
Usually what it was was the men would take their wives, would take their girlfriends, would take people that are associated with them to go see these movies and make it, you know, family events, a date night event, something like that. It doesn't really work the other way around. And when you take a look at, again, I, I said this at the beginning of the movie, Dakota Johnson and Sydney Sweeney were in this movie. They aren't uh, unattractive women. They're, they're very easy on the eyes. One's just a little bit, you, you, you know, uh, more attractive than the other one for two very massive reasons. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you weren't going to see a whole lot of women actually wanting to go see this movie. It, I get it. It was marketed towards women. It was trying to say this whole women power thing, but it, it really it, it looked like a disaster of monumental proportion from the get go. It didn't look appealing. It didn't look fun. And you didn't know who this was actually marketed to to begin with. It seemed like it was being marketed towards uh, teen girls because of some of those sound effects and stuff, like a CW-esque movie. But at the same time, it was Spider-Man. It without Spider-Man, it was Madam Web, but not Madam Web. It, it was a it was a disaster across the board. And to see it actually throw out their plans out for so many different spinoffs, so many different universes, so many different things. You are planning all this centered around this whole character and this whole movie you guys you guys were far off well in advance from the actual movie being released you were far off from this whole universe ever actually being success because again this is a spider-man universe with spider-man characters with no spider-man i don't know what else to tell you guys but i'm gonna leave it there let me get you guys thoughts on all this down in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it out friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live and i'll see you all on the next one bye for now